everybody. Okay, so we're starting off with the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. This is new for me. It's my first time trying it. Um, that's why I look <laughs> confused. <laughs> um, I didn't know if I used enough or not too much. I really think I could have done a little bit more, um, but you know what? It's fine. It's working out. I've worn it all day and I'm actually super impressed. So I think this is a winner. 10 out of 10 would recommend to a friend. On to concealer, we've got the NARS Creamy Matte. I love this concealer so, so much for covering up anything on the face. So today we're gonna use it with that Sephora brush and we're just gonna cover up any little spots we have. I've got some redness that I'm covering and quite honestly, I have some freckles that I like to cover because so if I don't, sometimes I finish my makeup and they're showing and they, they, I don't know, they just like don't look like freckles, they just look like confused, like specks of dirt, I don't know. That's probably so dramatic, but <laughs> I don't know, I just like to cover them. So that's what we're doing here, taking our sweet time, clearly, and we're good? We're good, okay. <laughs> Foundation time. I'm using the Shiseido Synchro Skin. I really like this foundation. It's super natural. It does not feel heavy at all. I would say it's like a medium coverage, more so on the light medium side. Um, but we're gonna take our wet sponge, that's the Real Technique sponge, and we're gonna blend, 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 blend. I take so long to blend, you guys. I was watching this back and I was like, woof. But honestly, it's like therapeutic for me. I like zone out and I just blend. I'm also jamming to music, so if you see my mouth moving and I'm like bopping my head in this video, it's the Backstreet Boys, so. Using the Kosas Concealer again, um, and then I'm about to realize that it's, um, <laughs> I need to do something else first. Realizing it now. Here we go. <laughs> um, I forgot to take out my setting powder, so today I'm deciding, I've decided, Laura Mercier. Um, I bounce back and forth between setting powders all the time just because I have so many, you know, that I like, um, but I like to have it ready to go, so right after I finish my concealer, I can go in and set it really fast. So there we go, a little bit on each side, and back with that damp sponge. Oh, strike a pose, okay. There we go. <laughs> blend that under eye honestly it feels so good blending in your makeup with that damp sponge it's so hydrating so relaxing I'm a fan so I'm actually setting it now um, I use my damp sponge to set my whole face um, and I'm gonna do the rest of it so I find that using the damp sponge really makes it the powder like melt into the skin more and it doesn't sit on top as much um, this can be good or bad depending on the kind of look you're going for, but today I didn't want anything too wild and crazy, so this is perfect. Um, and I think I did something a little bit extra today too. After, yep, here's me deciding to be really extra. I'm gonna take the Hourglass, um, powder. It's really pretty, it's very expensive. Honestly, you guys, I, I can't, I cannot justify the price. I think it's okay. I, I wasn't blown away by this. Um, I need to do like only this powder on my face and then I can have a better opinion but there's so many other powders that are way better priced that do the same thing um, and then I'm taking this foundation brush with a little bit of that foundation powder from Makeup Forever and I'm just covering basically the spot where I put the concealer earlier just to make sure I didn't move anything around and that's about it so and then we're gonna move on to the cheeks oh oh my gosh you guys i brush my eyebrows so much i like didn't realize i don't know what it is but it is what it is so today um we're gonna use a few different things on the cheeks but we're gonna start with this kimchi chic um collection with kimchi and naomi smalls stunning stunning um, we're gonna take the Naomi Smalls blush color, and on me, a ghost, a pale ghost, that's going to be my bronzer. It's so, so pretty. It goes on so buttery. I was very impressed. I love it. 
I'm also playing around with lighting. Um, I can't decide if I like it or not, so let me know if you guys think it's like too light, too harsh of lighting, or I don't know. And then we're gonna take the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Y'all lied, you said this smelled like a vacation. Well, actually it's not light. I don't know why, but I think it smells like Las Vegas. It's <laughs> not like in a bad way, but it like distinctly smells like a specific hotel in Vegas and I can't remember which one. I don't know you guys. It's like very coconutty, but there's something else in there that's just like Vegas. I, I don't know. Y'all try it and let me know if I'm crazy. I already know I am, but it's fine. So then we're gonna put a little on the forehead too, just to give the face some more color. I'm singing to the Backstreet Boys. Very seriously blending, okay. <laughs> and then catch me brushing out my brows again. <gasps> I'm crazy. Does anyone else do this? Am I alone? Okay. Milani blush. I think this is the rose one. It's really pretty. It's got like a um, iridescence to it, so it's not a matte blush. Um, beware if you're not into a glowy kind of blush. This is not for you, but if you do want that glow, then girl, this is for you. And it's drugstore. It was so evenly priced big fan of these Milani baked blushes. They're like a staple in like the makeup YouTube gang. And then of course I'm going to add some on my nose after this. Yep, here we go. Um, I really love doing this. <laughs> I feel like it looks really cute, especially with the highlighter on top. I don't know. It like makes the face look a little more flushed and sweet. I'm gonna take our Fenty highlighter and only use this side right here. It's a little more calm. Take this cute little brush and put that on the high points of our cheekbones. Oh, looks so good in the light. This highlighter is stunning, you guys. I haven't tried a Fenty product that I hated yet, so honestly, so, so good. And on the nose, boop, perfect. <laughs> okay, moving on to eyes, I think. Yep, eyes, okay. <laughs> this is the Kimchi Chic palette, again, same collection. I know it looks wild and crazy. I'm actually not doing a wild and crazy look today, so I'm just gonna take the really, the tan, like the lightest brown of the palette on this bigger fluffy brush, and I'm gonna add that to the crease. And I blend my eyeshadow also for a very long time. It really, like honestly, putting on makeup just relaxes me, and I think that's why I can take a really long time. I can also get it done really fast, but, I prefer to just take my sweet time, blend everything, jam out to some music, maybe have a cocktail. This was in the morning, so there was no cocktail, but you know what, you do you, boo, it's quarantine. You can have that drink in the morning if you really want to. And then I'm gonna take the second darkest brown. It's not really anything too crazy. Oh, changing the song. Okay, there we go. And I'm just gonna focus that on the outer corner of the eye and that's gonna be the only colors I use today do, 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 do. yep that's pretty much it um, I like I said I wasn't going for anything too wild I was just gonna take my dog to the vet today so nothing exciting again I'm gonna blend it all out with that big fluffy brush that I love and we good. Ta da! I am jamming out to this Backstreet Boys. And then I think I'm gonna add some shimmer. Yes, we're gonna take the Charlotte Tilbury Bar of Gold. 
I'm gonna mix actually I'm deciding right now but I already know I'm gonna mix those two right there the lighter two shades together on a natural haired brush swirl swirl tap tap you know the drill and I'm gonna focus that on the inner corner and then once I feel like the inner corner is looking good I'm gonna just put the rest of whatever's on the brush lightly on my eyelid so not getting any more keeping it real simple and it just kind of gives a little pop of brightness to the eye area and then I decided to go back in. I didn't put any more on the brush I just used what was left and I just went under the brow eyebrow time okay I am so particular with my eyebrows you guys here's me deciding <laughs> what I'm gonna do so today I decided to underline my brow with the brow wiz from Anastasia and then in a minute I'm going to actually take the um, brow powder from Anastasia and that's how I'm going to finish my brow so it's combo brow day today honestly I I don't know I'm a freak when it comes to my eyebrows I've been growing them out this quarantine I've been using the milk oh, what's it called it's right here let's see I think it's called the grow house yeah Kush Grow House Lash and Brow Serum. I love this stuff. It comes in a gigantic bottle. It does not sting my sensitive, allergy-ridden eyeballs. Um, and I put it on my eyebrows and my lash line every night and I've seen tremendous growth. So, could not recommend it enough. Yep, brow powder time. Picking a brush. Just the usual brow brush from Sephora. I'm so sorry if that grosses you out that I just like that, but you know what? It's my face. And I brushed my teeth before I did this, so it's hygienic-ish. I would not lick the brush if I was doing someone else's face, but you know what? It's my face and I don't mind, so there we go. I find that using the Powder just keeps the brows softer and more natural looking, but if I'm wanting a more structured brow, then I'll do the majority of it with that um, Brow Wiz pencil. And then if I want like really simple, like if I'm not really wearing makeup but I still want to house my brows, I'll take the powder dry and just kind of like fill in anywhere that I feel like needs it and then that's it. So, you know. I love brow products, you guys. You can do so many looks with them. Uh, this is the Clear Brow Gel, again, from Anastasia, the queen of eyebrows. And that is how I set everything. Oh, I'm, oh, <laughs> that's me noticing two new hairs growing in. They're kind of like sticking out, but it is what it is. Okay, what is this? Oh, eyeliner. This is a, a L'Oreal Infallible Gel Eyeliner. And I'm using a very dirty, that's why I made that face, um, eyeliner brush. It's kind of gross, I should probably clean it. Um, mentally preparing to apply the eyeliner, here we go. So, I did not want to do a wing today, because yesterday, you guys, my left eye, I literally looked like I got punched in the face. It was so bad. I think I just had an allergic reaction to something, what else is new? and my eye was just red and irritated all day, so that's why I didn't film. I wanted to yesterday, but there was no way I was gonna put makeup on, so. Today we were kinda going easy on the eyes just because giving them a little break. But they feel totally fine today, so that's good. And I'm gonna take the black out of that eyeshadow palette and I'm gonna kinda basically just set um, the gel liner and this is gonna help it look a little more blown out um, you can't really see it obviously from that far away, but I'm gonna try and get close for you guys. See, it just kind of like smokes out that line, which I really like, especially when I'm just going for like a natural look. I think it looks really nice with um, the mascara on top. And if you don't, I don't know, it just like doesn't look finished to me when I add mascara and I don't do this step. So if you have the time, this little extra step I think is super helpful. So now we're gonna curl those lashes. I love this part. Um, I have friends that curl their lashes, friends that don't. Honestly, it just depends on what kind of lashes you have. Some are, some people are blessed with 
very naturally curly lashes. I wouldn't say mine are like straight, um, but I prefer what my makeup looks like when I do curl them. So once we've given them a good curl, it is mascara time. And that's the Ilia Limitless Mascara. I literally don't use anything else. Um, it's amazing. It is not waterproof. Um, just FYI, I do not like waterproof mascara. Um, but you would think I would because my eyes water all the time from my allergies. But I just don't like the way it feels on my lashes and taking it off. It's just ugh. So. This is my go-to. Um, I take forever to put on my mascara. Just like everything else I do with blending. Itching my eye. <laughs> See, literally took so long I needed a water break. Hydrate before you dehydrate, ladies. Okay, here we go. Finishing up that mascara. I do, I brush it up and then I actually go, I don't know how to describe this, like down over the top of your lash and then I bring it back up. I hope that makes sense. Um, then it really coats the top and the bottom of the lashes because sometimes I'll have like powder sitting on them and that's just not a cute look. So, nope, we're going to do another coat because why not just take it there, really go for it. love how this mascara separates you guys it's so pretty I had to check my work there <laughs> okay oh I decided to just add some more of that um, Laura Mercier powder to my shiny forehead and my chin as well because that's the areas that I just see the most oil come through during the day and I like to make sure it's properly set. Okay. Fix that hair. I'm staring at my setting spray. I know I am. Yep. Uh, this is the Kimchi Chic Matte Setting Spray. I really like it. It smells good. And I have the card from the package from them. And it's plastic it's super nice and I just use it to dry my face it's so hot you guys that's why I'm just like in a tank top with my hair up chugging water because oof, it's a hot day today in Southern California drink your water girl there we go oh, my hair gets a little blown out when I do that <laughs> with the setting spray okay feeling good lip time so I'm gonna apply, I have this on the whole time, but it smells so good and it tastes good. It's the Fresh Lip Balm, it's the watermelon one, you guys, so good. And I'm gonna use my Trixie Cosmetics Lipstick in the shade Bobble. Um, really pretty neutral shade and I'm just like barely putting this on. I'm not really applying a lot of pressure. I just want a light, a light, 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 light layer. Um, I think it would go nicely, look really natural, you know, nothing too crazy. Get the in, there we go. This is it, you guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs> See you next time. Bye.